Welcome to Gumpway Live Cops, where I show how I cop items using this computer, bots, and other resources. If you're interested in learning how to bot, or just interested in watching Live Cops, then let's get into it. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, I haven't really felt like making Live Cop videos lately, but what I did decide to do is create a new series. So we are going to be going through the truth about sneaker botting. So in this series, I'm going to go through exactly what it takes to get started sneaker botting and all the trials and tribulations that I personally go through. Now I've been botting for around four to five years, I wanna say. I'm really bad with memory and time, so I don't know the exact day, but I have been botting for many, many years. And the pain and the struggles and the L's and the wins that I go through botting, I feel should be shared with you. So in this new series, we are going to be taking you through step by step what actually goes into sneaker botting. And we're going to start with that right now. So in this release, we're going for the Sakai Fragments. Super hype shoe. I love Sakai and I really wanted to secure some of these. Fortunately, during the Kith release, I completely struck out. Undefeated did not drop at their normal time, which is 8 a.m. Uh, so I was expecting them to drop at either 10 or 11 or 12. And just after the defeat of Kith and not hitting with the huge amount of stock they had uh, after all the times that i've hit kith with very few pairs being dropped i can't hit a massive massive stock release i felt just absolutely defeated and i basically gave up at that point um, around 12 o'clock i was sitting at the computer i had announced to the group gbfnf to run at 12 because i was aware that they were going to drop but for some reason in my mind, I completely forgot that I wasn't even running or set up for this release. Drop happened. Undefeated is known to restock multiple, multiple times after the initial drop. So I set up during the release really quick, got my tasks running, and I was able to achieve this during that drop. Fucking hit, dude, with Max. Sheesh. Got another one, let's fucking go. I hit another one. Let's fucking go. These are, uh, yeah, these are resis, bro. Leave resis. <laughs> I can't fucking even believe it, dude. So I did end up getting some of the pairs that I hit in the mail. Now we are going to jump into the Lightning Fours next, but I actually didn't record this release. So I'm just going to give a brief summary of what happened during that drop while I'm unboxing these. The reason I didn't record is I was running about 10 bots on my computer. Now obviously I was running servers as well, uh, but my computer just could not handle the recording on top of Discord, on top of all the bots I was running, on top of Autosolve. Uh, my computer would have crashed or my network would have uh, gotten fried, so I had to clip the recording. But I did end up checking out eight pairs. I ended up checking out uh, five for myself and three for members in GBFNF slots. Uh, now, we did end up hitting a lot of slots on these because me and all the other staff were running for members as well. Um, but for myself, I personally ended up with five pairs. One did end up getting canceled. We're going to take a look at these right now. This is a huge size. I think this is a 13. I mean, it's basically the size of my arm almost. Uh, these are, uh, they're, I mean, they're fire. They're definitely fire. The Oreos are much better though. If you're gonna go with the Jordan 4, the Oreos are much more wearable. Um, but these, I mean, it is a dope color. Uh, it's an OG color. The uh, Lightning 4s, I believe, released in 2006. So this is a remake of them. Um, it's super clean, but I just honestly, I don't feel like much detail went into these. It's basically just the typical Jordan 4 sole, uh, you know, with yellow uh, suede across the shoe. Um, and this is going to crease like crazy if you rock these, but it, it's okay. I mean, it's nothing that like I would go above and beyond to say that these are going to go up substantially over time or anything like that. I do think these will go up over time. Um, obviously not financial advice, don't invest your life savings in the lightning fours. But uh, yeah, I mean, 
they're gonna go up probably 50 bucks to 100 bucks over time, nothing too crazy. And we have the Fragment Sakai's. Wow, these are, these are shit. These are shit quality. You can see the black is smearing over the shoe. There's black shit all over the shoe. No, there's no way these are going to get accepted through somewhere like StockX or something like that. They just absolutely botched these. The mock-ups are so much cleaner with the fragment symbol here. Um, honestly, disappointed. It's just another disappointing shoe. Um, I don't feel like much time or quality went into this. It's basically a navy blue Sakai and they just put a little writing at the end, uh, which clearly they did not do a good job on. So good job, Nike. You've done a great job this year. Um, yeah, these, these ain't it. Uh, these aren't it. So can I say? Now, before we jump into the women's Jordan 4 Shimmer, which I have to absolutely talk about, I do want to say one thing really fast. So my group, GBFNF, we are accepting new members. Uh, it is a cook group. We provide really everything that you need to learn how to bot or to begin botting. We also do real one-on-one -on -one support, which means me and my staff will help you one-on-one -on -one learn how to bot. Uh, I've said it a million times in all my other videos, you know, we'll spend hours with you if you need the help learning or starting or whatever the case is, we would love to help you. But we also provide a ton of other things. I mean, really, we've kind of evolved from just a normal cook group to just a place to make money. Like if you're looking to make money, we are the place to be. We're in every area that there really is to make money in. Uh, we've currently just expanded into NFTs, which I'm not familiar with whatsoever, and I'm not a professional on them. That's one thing that I currently cannot stand that's going on in the sneaker world. A lot of people are popping up with NFTs in their groups, like they've been doing this for years, which is completely untrue. They know probably about as much as I do, but what we did do is we brought on a team of experts who have been in NFTs for a long time now. Uh, to give the advice and to give the recommended drops to go for. So that's pretty exciting. I did personally get into four drops myself. So I'm gonna see how that goes over the next, you know, month to two months. I am learning as well. But my group, GBFNF, uh, if you wanna join and be a part of it, we would love to have you. I have the link on the screen here. It's been on the screen the whole time. Type this into your browser. You are gonna need to download Discord if you don't have Discord already. Set up an account. Log in through Discord on the dashboard, gbfnf.com or gumpboyfnf.com and uh, go ahead and check out and join the group. We would love to have you. We are gonna jump into the Jordan 4 Women's Shimmer right now. I know this wasn't a huge release or anything crazy like that, but we had a group buy in GBFNF, which is my cook group if you're not familiar, for the Footsite Bot Vite, V-I-T-E. It is a clean bot. And we had a group buy and I wasn't really even familiar with Vite whatsoever. One of the other staff members ended up getting us this group buy. And I was running Wrath, Whatbot, uh, and some other bots as well on this release. Most of you know, some of you don't. Stock was extremely low. It was 500 pairs on Foot Locker and 1,000 pairs on Foot Action. Uh, very tough release to hit, had zero expectations. I had started running this release, which I did not record because like I just said, it was a low stock release and I really had zero expectations to hit anything at all. Uh, and I started running the drop in about five, 10 minutes into the release, I had zero pairs. Usually on a drop like that, that's an L. Um, they do restock a few here and there, but it's not even worth running at that point. I ended up looking over at my uh, webhook and I had a checkout from Vite. Now, this was huge. There was, there's only a few hundred members in there running. I believe on that release, not many people were running at all because stock was so low that, you know, like I said, there was really no expectations, but Vite ended up checking out a size 11 and a half Jordan 4 women's shimmer for me. And I was absolutely blown away. So I'm going to 100% be running this bot on the upcoming releases. It is a monster. I was only running 100 tasks as well. So I was very, very impressed with the results. Now we do have some pretty big releases coming up. Uh, before we jump into that, I just wanna say, if you like this new format, please, please, please make sure to like the video. I would appreciate it and subscribe if you would like. Now we have the Yeezy slides coming up. This is a massive release and stock is expected to be super big on these, but we will just have to wait and see what happens on the Yeezy slides in the next episode. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.